What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be all about my current favorites for the past month of February. First off, let me start off by saying that if my mouth is moving weird throughout this video, it's because I feel so uncomfortable right now. Oh my gosh. Words cannot describe how uncomfortable my mouth feels right now. I don't know why, but Whenever I'm talking like normally to somebody, I feel fine. But as soon as I sit down in front of the camera and want to film, my mouth doesn't know how to move with these damn braces on. Like, don't get me wrong, I love my braces, no shade towards them, but I just can't get used to talking with them on. If you guys have any suggestions as to like when, I need to know when, I need a time as to when I'm going to get used to these things because it's really annoying. I just feel like they are like bulging out of my mouth, even though I know it might not be so noticeable to me. I'm just like, hello, like, when am I gonna get used to you? So yeah, I apologize if I sound a little strange or if I'm talking weird or if my mouth is moving weird, you know, braces, that thing. So like I said, I'm gonna be talking about my current favorites for the past month of February. I am filming this a little bit later than usual. Typically I would film this at the very end of the previous month. However, it is already the 10th of March, so fingers crossed that I can do this quickly and get this uploaded for you guys ASAP. I have a bunch of products to show you guys that I have been loving, but before we get onto that, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos I post. So with that being said, let's get on to the favorites. Alrighty, first thing that I pick up is my current favorite primer. This is a drugstore primer and I did in fact use it today for a drugstore, full face drugstore makeup tutorial. It should be up soon if you guys are interested. So the primer that I'm talking about is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure this isn't readily available for us here in Australia. I did order mine online. I will leave a link down below for those of you guys who are interested in purchasing it. I love this primer, guys. Let me just put it on the back of my hand so you can get an idea of the consistency. So it is white. It does leave like... When you apply it, you do notice there's a little bit of a white cast on your face, but that goes away once it's all blended in and you apply your foundation on top, obviously. It is very creamy. It almost feels like a mix between a lotion and like, kind of like a smoothing silicone based primer. This actually does have silicone in it, so I would say that is why it feels the way it does, but I just love it. It makes my skin feel baby smooth. So there it is blended out. As you can see, there is a little bit of a white cast, but that is nothing too crazy to worry about. But yes, I've been loving this primer. I've been using it so much recently, especially in this past month. And the good thing about it is that it is oil free. So I do find when I use this, I don't secrete as much oils as usual because for those of you who have watched my channel regularly you would know that I recently finished my course of Accutane. I'm free from Accutane so since it's been like over a month now, I think it's been like nearly two months. It's been a fair while since I finished my course and now I am officially producing oils again which is like a good and bad because it's good because I feel like I'm alive again, but then it's bad because my hair, oh lord guys, I have to wash my hair like every second day. Before I would go like a week without washing my hair, which is like gross, but it was awesome. I hate washing my hair. Anyways, getting off topic, I love this primer because it is oil free and I just feel like it makes my foundation and makeup stay on for days. Next product I pick up is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. I saw this online. A lot of people were talking about it because many MUA and Makeup by Shayla were like a, a part of the collaboration process of this. I don't know if they actually created this. I'm pretty sure they didn't create this. They were just um, ambassadors for it. If I'm correct, I think. So I didn't think it would actually be available here in Australia for a while because I do know that it recently came out in America, but I was strolling down the aisles of Priceline like I usually do and I saw the little gold bottle and I was like, okay, just throw it around. 
I was like, okay, you're coming home with me and I tried it and I love it. It gives me so much volume and length without being too clumpy, which is what I definitely look for in my mascaras. And I just love it. Like it's been great as an everyday mascara. Next up, I have an eyeliner to talk about. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. This shade in particular is the Perversion shade, which is technically their black mascara, mascara their black liner. I mean, just look at it. Wait, let me, let me live swatch it for you guys because you will not understand how much I love this until you see it being swatched, so. Do you see that? Like I barely even touched my skin with this and it's so black, glides on as the name suggests. It's just, it's amazing. It literally stays in the waterline and tight line and I get very irritated watery eyes, especially when I apply liner, but this beats it. Like this is amazing. Speaking of pencils, next up I have a lip liner to show you guys. I don't know if I've talked about this in any of my other videos. I'm pretty sure I haven't, but this was actually my first ever MAC lip pencil. This one is in the shade Strip Down. I don't know why I had to look at that. Like I should know it's the only one that I have. But yeah, this is one that everybody raves about constantly and I figured that I would jump on the bandwagon and see what the big deal was about MAC lip liners because I've always been a drugstore kind of lip liner girl. Like I don't really lean towards getting more expensive pencils because I don't know, no particular reason. I just never really lean towards getting expensive pencils. I just feel like I put my money towards other things like expensive foundations, shadows, things like that. I never really think about buying higher end pencils. So when I was at MAC one day, I was actually buying a few new lipsticks and then I saw this and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it out and see what all the hype is about. You guys, like, there's the shade right there. Let me just give you a live swatch. I just feel like this is a very staple, everyday kind of lip pencil that goes with every single nude lip color, whether it be lighter or a bit darker, I feel like you can wear it with this. If you are looking to try one, I would totally recommend this one because you can wear it with so many different nude lippies. Speaking of nudes, I'm going to show you guys some lip products that I've been liking. The first one being a NYX Butter Gloss. This one in particular is in the shade Madeline. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. But guys, don't ask what I'm wearing on my lips because it's a combination of like four different lip products. If you really want to know though, it will be in the tutorial for this look. But like I was saying, this is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. And let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. Do you guys see that? Like, ooh, yep. I love to wear nude lipsticks all the time, but sometimes I want to give them that little bit of extra something, and I feel like putting a nude gloss over top is perfect for that. I absolutely love this shade, and I feel like it goes with all the types of nudes that I wear. It's not too pink, it's not too peachy, it's just like in the middle, and I love it. I actually like to wear this on top of something else. Also by NYX, this is the Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. Oh my goodness, guys. I always saw this whenever I walked through Priceline, but I was like, Oh, typical nude like I don't need it I already have a hundred other nude lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and all of that kind of stuff so I don't need it and then one day I was in a kind of treat yourself kind of mood so I just bought it and oh my goodness guys I have been wearing it non-stop every single day ever since I got it I'm obsessed with this and I like I'm mad at myself for not getting it sooner let me just put it beside Madeline so there it is beside Madeline. Oh my gosh, they're like a match made in heaven. I love them separately and together. Oh my goodness, like I get way too excited talking about these things. That's like my kind of nude combo right there. Give me that nude right there. Like I love it. Anyways, moving on. Next up, I have a MAC lipstick to show you guys. I haven't really bought too many MAC lipsticks in my makeup lifetime. I remember the first... I just spat everywhere. Oh my goodness. Sorry. <laughs> Braces problems. But I remember the first MAC lipstick I ever bought was Myth, which is just crazy. And I had like really tanned skin and jet black hair in high school. So I don't know like what the heck I was thinking. Anyways, moving off topic, like I said, I haven't purchased many MAC lipsticks over my makeup lifetime. But I did recently pick up this one in the shade Honey Love. It does fall into the same category of being like the type of a nudes that I like, like that same brownie peachy kind of nude. It's pulling a little more pink against these two, but it's not that pink on my lips. It does look very 
nude. It is a little bit lighter than these two on my lips, but I love it. And I've been loving pairing this up with the Spice lip liner from MAC. I feel like those two work great together. So yeah, I just wanted to throw this into my favorites because I have been wearing it a lot lately. Oh my goodness, guys. I have another lip product to show you guys, but I promise you will love this one if you like sparkles and glitter and all that kind of shimmery glowy stuff like I do. This is the Jouer Lip Topper in Skinny Dip. Can we just take a moment? Like, wow. Look at that. Look at all that dimension going on. Amazing. So Jouer actually came out with three different lip toppers that are similar to this but different shades. I particularly really love this shade. I do have the other two there in my drawer. I'm not going to get up and get them. But this one has been my favorite out of the three. This is the middle shade, Skinny Dip. I think this is the one that's been the most popular. Let's just... I don't know if you guys can see that but it's like... Like if you could take a highlighter and put it into a lip gloss this is what it would be. It's so beautiful, guys. I Like, I would wear this as a highlight. Hell yeah. Not really because it'll make my cheekbones look all greasy. I've really been loving wearing this in the very center of my lips. I feel like it gives them that extra bit of pop. And when I do feel like it, I do wear it all over. It's funny, actually, because CJ was like, wow, how did you get your lips to look so sparkly? And I was like, boo. It's all here. It's all this. Plus, I don't know what it is with me and, like, smelling lip products, but... Mm, it smells like caramel. I even made CJ smell it. I was like, smell this and tell me what you think. And he was like, wow, that smells really good. And I was like, I know. Speaking of sparkles and all that glowy stuff, I have a highlighter to show you guys. What would a favorites video be from me without a highlighter? Like, let's face it. So this month's highlighter that I've been using a lot is the Laura Mercier highlighter in Indiscretion. Does that not, like, make you just want to dive into it? Like, look at that. Does that not remind you of, like, silky sheets? Honestly. Truly. Oh, I'm about to dive in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, it's just so beautiful. Like, look at that, guys. It's so pretty, and I almost didn't want to use it because I know one day that this, like, imprint is going to wear out, but... Let me give you guys a swatch because I know that's what you're all here for. So there it is on my finger. It's not like super, super intense. It is, but it isn't, if you get what I mean. Like, a, it gives you a beautiful glow. But you can definitely build it up for it to be, like, crazy insane. So there it is right there. There's the swatch. Ugh. I just love it. I swear, guys, like, a lot of my highlighters look very similar, but... They're all different. I can assure you that they are different. If CJ watches it, babe, I know I have so many highlighters, but they're not all the same. So yeah, there it is right there. I have been loving it. I've been using it a lot this past month, and I just feel like it's a really beautiful highlighter. Like I could just stare at it. Alrighty, last product to show you guys is actually a contouring and a highlighting kit. This particular one is from NYX. It's their Pro Highlight and Contour Kit. I actually wanted this for the longest time, but I just thought I don't need it because I have a few other highlighting and contouring kits, but I don't have any drugstore ones. So I figured that I would pick it up and I did actually use it today for this look. I did, as I said in the beginning, I did do a full face drugstore makeup tutorial and I did use this palette for that. So as you can see, you do get eight shades, which I think is pretty good for a drugstore highlighting and contouring kit. If you guys are wondering, I did pick mine up from Priceline. I have also seen them sold in Target, but I did pick one up from Priceline for $40, which isn't like the cheapest when it comes to contouring kits, but think about how many shades you're getting and the price in comparison to say a higher end contouring and highlighting kit. So I feel like this is definitely worth the price and it is very Good quality for being a drugstore product. In particular, I really love to use this shade, which is funny because the old me, the old me, would have leaned towards, whoa, okay. As I was saying, the old me would have leaned towards a shade like this, but lately I've really been liking contouring with cool tone shades. I don't know why, like call me crazy. I would never in my wildest dreams think that I'd be into using like cool tone contour shades, but Lately, I've really been liking this, and that's what I used to contour with today. So that's the cool tone shade there. As you can see, it's very subtle, which is what I like about it because it's not like a bam in your face intense, but it actually is very 
pigmented and well colored when you do apply it to the skin. Just gonna put it on the back of my wrist there. So that's the cool tone shade there. Uh, the banana shade. As for the other shades, I haven't really used them. This one is a little bit shimmery. Same with this one. I actually haven't used these two shades just because they're not typically like highlight shades that I would gravitate towards. But I mean, if you do want like a highlighting, contouring, um, sculpting kit with like shimmery highlighters all in one, this is it. So I think I'm finally done talking about all of my favorites. I'm sorry if I rambled on you guys and I apologize if you could hear me like slapping. I feel like with these braces, I produce TMI, but I produce like saliva and I'm constantly trying to like keep it in my mouth because I don't want to like spit everywhere like I did earlier. So I apologize for that. Honestly, I just can't wait till I like get used to these braces. My cousin was like, don't worry. Like you're going to feel like they're not even there. You won't even feel them in your mouth. Like when, when is this going to happen to me? Because I don't see it happening in the near future. But anyways, enough of me rambling on. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if any of these products are products that you have tried yourself. And also tell me what your favorite was for the past month, because I'm always keen to find out what everybody else is loving so I can perhaps try it myself. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos I post. As always, I will leave a list of everything I spoke about throughout the favorites video down below in the description box where you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, on Snapchat, all the links are down below. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you're all having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy. I need an angel.